Yo guys, it's Akali Kids Music here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing another Q&A. Um, I asked for more questions on Snapchat, Instagram, and anonymous question apps again. Like the last episode I did about a week ago. So, um, yeah. I don't know why I'm more doing this intro. It's 2 in the morning. Let's get into it. So the first question I've got here is, have you ever seen Spider-Man? And are you usually late or on time? So let's go with the Spider-Man question. If you haven't watched Spider-Man, what are you? Spider-Man's by far one of the best superheroes, next to The Flash and uh, Great Gatsby. Obviously, he's such a superhero, saving Daisy from whatever he saved her from. Shout out to <laughs> Year 12 English, but yes, sir, I have watched Spider-Man. And uh, am I usually late or on time? I'm quite early to things, actually. I was late, no, it wasn't late, I was early to my lesson today, actually. Because um, I had maths th today, uh, like quarter past 12. I was there at at 12 so i was quite early i'm usually it depends where it is and where i'm going if i'm meeting with friends i'm probably like one of the first people to get there but if it's like bus journeys or something i'm always late because i get shafted with timings because my timing is way too off sometimes like it's actually annoying how many times i'm uh, it gets messed up but yeah so next one we've got three questions first one is what makes you roll your eyes every time you hear it second one is are you an ambitious person and three would you rather be famous when you're alive and forgotten when you die or unknown when you're alive but famous after you die and why let's go with the last question first i don't think death should glorify a person's success like if someone's remembered for them dying that's really toxic and unhealthy that you have to remember them for like the life they had and how much of a difference that they made to the world so I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be unknown if I was alive and then die and everyone knows my name and everyone wants, everyone wants to pay homage to me, because it's, what's the point? Because it's like, we, we we didn't take that person's life into consideration. We just try and profit off their death. So I think it's really unhealthy when people do that. If it's like important celebrities, I get it. Like Kobe Bryant, XSX, Natasha, and Lil Peep. Uh, Michael Jackson you know, obviously cultural people who did make a difference on the world when they were alive but to say that if someone doesn't know who you are when you're alive but when you die they know all about you I would take disrespect from that so I guess that answers that question and um, I forgot the other two questions I actually, <laughs> I actually forgot the other two questions um, am I an ambitious person? yes I have a lot of ambitions, a lot of motivation to do things. Sometimes I, I don't really have it. Like, I don't notice it. But other times I'm like, yes, I'm really motivated to do this and that. So, uh, yeah. And what was the final question out of the three? Uh, I actually don't know. I'm going to have to go check one sec. What makes me roll my eyes every time I hear it? That's what the question was. Um, people who say that they will give you money back when you lend them a pound to get like a, a energy drink at school or something. You will not get that fucking money back, mate. It is a scam, my dude. You are not getting shit. <laughs> All you're going to get is a high five and maybe a Kit Kat that someone illegally bought from the PU change of rooms. Because obviously people used to hoist food back in the day. Like, this was some money heist, breaking the bank type shit. Like, some temple run. You just stole the idol. Monkeys are coming after you. You're going to die. You ain't getting that money back. And every time people, someone says that to me, it's like, just stop talking. I'm not getting that money back, it's as simple as that. So, I guess that's what makes me roll my eyes the most when I hear it. Um, someone just tried to call me as I'm recording this, but let's go. Right, next question is, what what, uh, what are your tips to keep yourself occupied during lockdown? Okay. Shout out to Nico and Milano for this one, uh, aka Hayden. Uh, if you know about it, you know about it. But um, tips I have for being motivated or occupied during mm -hmm. lockdown. Exercise is actually really beneficial. Uh, exercise can really help you even if it's like going for a run or something it can really benefit you and, and help you in ways that you would never understand if you didn't do exercise like I'll be taking time out to do a bit of football every now and then like every other day and I, I've got to say it really does help me uh, perform better not in any weird way it helps me perform better like physically and I think having a positive mindset about your body and your appearance can really help you as well because then you have that he healthy mentality. But in terms of being occupied, I don't know, get some wins on Warzone.
put it on YouTube, get 16 views and 3 likes. Wait, that's just me. <laughs> um, I don't know. Make sure you get your work done. Like, make a schedule for yourself so you can uh, mix it up. Don't like, do not do the same thing every day and get bored of it because you can only play COD so many times before you get bored of it and you want to switch it up. So, make sure you're doing it like that. So, yeah, that's all I want to say for that. Okay, next one is how was maths? Um, like I said earlier, I did have maths uh, today. To say I haven't been there in like, what, two, three months? It was actually really enjoyable. We did um, trigonometry, which is a level in, in a level maths. It's topic what well, chapter three point one slash three point two. We did trigonomic functions, how to solve uh, trigonomic equations, how to find acute angles using graphs. So like sine one hundred twenty equals sine whatever, and it, it was pretty decent. Um, we're doing pure maths in the revision sessions that I'm doing. That's what we're focusing on the most because, well, we don't have anything else to do. But p pure I suck at. Like, coordinate geometry is my downfall, so I hope that helps. But yeah, uh, what motivates you to upload daily? I, to be honest, I don't know. I think my channel's kind of hit its peak at the moment because I would just do the normal thing of promoting a video on Snapchat or Instagram. I don't know if it's because of the new friendships I've made or just because people are just now really supportive because of lockdown, but I gained like four subscribers in like a week, which is on the hood off of my channel. And um, yeah, I, the, views are, the views are higher than they've ever been. The like ratio is really good. I still get the comments saying, do you want to be friends? Do you want to see my news? Do you want to have sex with me? And as tempting as the offer is, I do not want to see your feet pictures, mate. You know who you are. I'm getting spammed on Discord every time I upload because he wants me to show him feet pictures and stuff. It's like, no, thank you. But, um, I don't know. I kind of... Lockdown kind of put me in a weird position because at the start, I kind of didn't upload for a bit because, uh, obviously, I was getting used to lockdown. I started uploading again when I was at my girlfriend's house, um, like, a few weeks ago. But then, you know, stuff has happened in the background that stopped me from uploading as well but no i don't know i kind of had i think it was the energy i had around me kind of helped me because everyone was productive at the same time and it was like i want to jump on the bandwagon because i haven't got anything else to do really <laughs> so yeah motivating motivating myself is so difficult to do because sometimes i'll have times where it's like yeah i want to just record this video record that video um i want to do this game and buy this game and upload it like i was gonna record cuphead portal 2 terraria minecraft so many games but i think i spent too much time prioritizing what content i wanted to see rather than what people wanted me to, to put out because the biggest quote criticism i'll ever get on my channel whatever is my name is galaxy music but i don't do music like yes i understand that <laughs> I mean, I uploaded the, a song the other day that has since been deleted because uh, harassment's a thing. The amount of response I got on that was insane. They, so many friends and family members watched that video and told me that it was the best song that they've heard me upload. It's the only song I've ever uploaded, but the first samples of music I've been working on, I've been offered to, do, to have vocal support from Jordan, so thank you very much for him supporting me on that. Uh, and if you didn't don't know, I did used to be part of some wannabe rap group, and uh, I'm not gonna throw shade, but I was definitely the better rapper out of all three of us, lyrically. Not sure about flow wise, but lyrically, I was I was the better one. Still am, in my opinion. But and then, yeah, I was like, I wanted to upload something that people wanted me to upload. So people were like, oh, you don't do music? So like, okay, I'll try some music, and I you know. Every kid has it at some point. Every kid dreams of being a, a rap artist or a singer or anything else, really. And I had that time as well. Like, seven months ago, I was uh, with my ex-girlfriend. And I was like, I want to make music. She didn't give a fuck. Nor, do I, nor did I care about her because the feeling was mutual. She didn't care about me, I didn't care about her after what happened. But yeah, I kind of just learned to go with my gut and upload content that 
I wanted to enjoy making. And I've actually been like, I had loads of videos stockpiled, like video ideas on my notepad, I've for like over a year. So Q and A's, um, the, the the government video, I wanted to upload when I first returned to YouTube. That like, would would be one of my first videos of of like the the year for me. But I think because the lockdown thing was in its prime when I uploaded the video, when all the government things were being sorted out, I think that was the best time to upload it. But motivations motivation stems from what you want it to be for me it's i want to be creative i want to be productive i want to do at least something with my life while being stuck at home but to be fair i am seeing friends still i am seeing family members i am going to sixth form every friday it's not the same but i don't know I'm, i think everything productive had an impact on me like every productive environment so uh work school um even being with my mates like doing exercise like because i was doing something productive and something that enabled me to have ideas it just kind of boosted my confidence in uploading again for example i uploaded a video yesterday well yeah yesterday as you've seen this but but this morning as, as i'm recording this um i did record a video of me playing uh well the gameplay you're seeing on the screen now was taken from that video uh, I put the face cam on there, and that was a full video. Um, I, I just pulled this this gameplay out of my hard drive because it's the only one I had left on my hard drive. Usually, I record gameplay and then clear it straight away, but I just thought yeah, I'll keep it just in case I want to do a Q and A. Um, so yeah, uh, I wanted to do different content, gaming videos. I did. I've done let's plays of Crash Bandicoot, Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green. I am actually going to return to fairly soon. Um, anyone who's been enjoying that series and I've, I've been spammed by people telling me to re-upload it, episodes of it it will come the only thing is I might just restart the whole series on a different game because I kind of did the Giovanni fight without showing you guys what happened and that's a big part of the story and I just don't want to ruin anything so I don't know what's important is I want to thank you guys so much for the support you've given me on my videos recently. Whether you're a subscriber, whether you're just a guy who comments asking for nudes, or dating sex online girls, oh my god. Like, if you look at my comments, you're going to see one spam bot saying, Naked girls? Whoa, what the fuck? What's a naked girl? I don't know what a naked girl is, what the fuck? Like, yeah. But, whether you're, whether you're those Russian bots, or whether you're an actual human who actually knows me in real life and knows my content or even if you don't know me in real life even if you met me on snapchat or instagram and you, like we just i just promoted a video to you and you actually enjoyed it thank you thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting on, on any videos that you've commented on thank you for giving me questions for this q a thank you for recommending me other topics to talk about in videos and um yeah i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing because honestly i I honestly do believe at the rate that I'm going, I will hit 100 subscribers by the end of this year. I mean, it might be a bit far-fetched, but it's a good stab standpoint, I guess. So, yeah. But, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this Q&A video, be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a comment, all that's good stuff. Uh, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, consider hitting the notification bell so you're uh, notified every time I upload a video, which is mostly daily. Well, it is these days. Sometimes it's two a day, depending on how I'm feeling. Anyway. I'm kind of guys music. Have a great rest of your day. Again, thank you for 50 subscribers. I don't know if I thanked you guys earlier, but thank you for 51 subscribers slash 50. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye for now.